Lesson 114. Mit. Okay, so in the last lesson, we learned that a preposition works along with a word that it references. And so the word that a preposition points to, we call that the object of the preposition. So in German, the object of a preposition needs to be in either the dative case or the accusative case. And Lisa, aren't there a very few prepositions that take the genitive case as well? Yes, they are. Okay. So in German, you need to know what case goes with each preposition that you learn. And our new preposition for this particular lesson, mit, it takes the dative. Right, Lisa? That's correct. And so we have a few example sentences here. And since mit is taking the dative case, sometimes... The ein words and the nouns need to have that extra n tagged on to the end of the dative plural. So in the first example, we have with my children. We would not say mit meine Kinder. We need to add the letter n to both of those because they're dative plural. Right, Lisa? That's right. The same happens in the second example sentence we have here. At the end, you see mit ihren Eltern. You might remember die Eltern is normally used in plural anyways. You see, it already has an N at the end, so we don't need to add one here, but we definitely need to add it to the ihre. And we put ihren. Right, because in the nominative case, if it were plural, it would be I-H-R-E. Yes. But since it's dative plural, again, you have to add the special extra N at the end. And finally... You have, in the third example, a couple of the new pronouns you just learned recently. If you want to say with me or with you, you have to use those special dative pronouns, mia and dia. So again, whenever you learn a new preposition in German, in addition to learning what the preposition means, you also need to memorize what case it goes with so that you can structure the sentence with the right structure, using the correct case with that preposition.